Shantanique, what beautiful playing. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Um, so that was by C.P.E. Bach, Correct. who was one of Bach's children. Um, those of you who don't know at home, Bach had 20 children. A lot of kids. He had um, 13 to his first wife, and she died giving childbirth. This is the only story about Bach that really grabs my students' attention. And so when he remarried, um, his, his second wife, they ended up having seven more children. And what a musical family, because so many of Bach's children went on to become composers themselves and professional musicians. Right. Um, it's always amazing to me, you know, in these in, in these Baroque works for solo instrument, like flute or violin or cello, that even though it's individual notes, you you gather this greater harmonic underpinning, um, and and that second movement arpeggios for days, girl. I mean, it just is nonstop. But your clarity of tone throughout the phrasing and uh, it's just beautiful. Your playing is stunning. Just stunning. So um, for those of you who are just turning in, uh, tuning in, <laughs> turning in, I'm about ready to turn in. That's the problem. <laughs> hey, you can after that. You can take a break, Shantani. Um, I'm music director Brian Sable um, here at Coriopolis United Methodist Church, and we are joined today by our distinguished guest, Ms. Shantanique Moore. Shantanique um, is a graduate of Wright. Wayne. Wayne! I knew I was going to mess it up. Wayne State University in Detroit. That's right. And you grew up outside of Detroit, correct? Yes, I was born in Detroit, and um, I spent, I think, seven years of my life living in the city, and then I moved just right outside of the city. Um, so, yeah, I'm from Metro Detroit. Okay, so from the metropolitan region of Detroit. Is there is there much difference in, um, I've not spent much time in Detroit, like um, culturally, in the sense of the, the town, uh, you know, it's a it's a moderately sized city like Pittsburgh. Is there much of a distinction there? What's the live music scene like? I've got a lot of questions. Well, Detroit has a fabulous orchestra, um, the Detroit Symphony Orchestra, um, who I have actually had the pleasure, the honor, and the privilege to play with. Um, the, um, we also have an opera um, in the city. Um, I would say that Detroit is mostly known for as Motown, like you know, right. like the Temptations and. You know Michael Jackson back in the day. Um, jazz huge is huge. Huge in jazz scene. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned um, they have. It was, so you've played with their symphony. I have. Yes. Um, were you a soloist with them or no? no? no. I, I've subbed with them. Okay, so fantastic. The section, yeah. Well, because I read in your bio, you were the winner of the concerto, the Great Lakes oh, region, Southern Great Lakes, Southern Great Lakes region. So that was an orchestra that um, I don't know. I just kind of randomly. I don't know how I saw that or anything. Um, I randomly auditioned for and competed in that, and I did win um, win a, a, an opportunity to solo with that orchestra. But the orchestra folded, I think. Oh really? So, yeah. Oh, how tragic. Yeah. But we're blessed to have you here in Pittsburgh with us. Now, um, Shantanique is the winner of the fellow program with the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra, and you have a two-year contract with them, and you are through the first year. Almost. Almost through. Um, let's get through this COVID nonsense yeah. so we can hear you play with them. In February, I actually soloed with the PSO. I um, played Frank Martin's Ballade as a soloist with the orchestra on their Lift Every Voice concert. Fantastic. So that, that was really cool. And I mean, just to be able to perform in Heinz Hall. Yeah. Oh, uh, as a solo. I mean, I've played in the orchestra in Heinz Hall, but as a solo. It's, it's a, a different completely experience. Completely different experience. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, we are blessed to have you here with us. Um, Shantanique, you are our 21st recitalist. We have had 21 weekly recitals. That's incredible. 21 weeks of Lent, if you've been counting. We started these, we have a tradition of Lenten recital series on Wednesdays. Um, and they're held at noon, and the church is filled with people. Then we have a nice lunch downstairs. Sorry we can't do that today. <laughs> but, you know, come back next time, and, and who knows? We'll throw out the red carpet for you. Oh. Um, but we are glad to have you as our 21st recital. Um, we have one more scheduled next week. Pianist Henry Weens will be with us. Um, Henry is going to bring us um, his, his own interpretations of some gospel hymns. He's a fantastic pianist. 
Um, and thank you to Pastor Dean for bringing Henry to us. And Henry, I know you've been here before. We are so looking forward to it. But if you are watching at home and you feel so inclined to help support our concert series, these concerts have been put on through the generosity of you at home, our, our wonderful benefactors. Um, and our parish administrator, Pat, just posted the link a little while ago on this feed. So if you feel so inclined, you can throw in five or 10 or 20 or 30 or 500 or whatever you want to give, right? Hey, you know, let's not shoot too low here, Shantadeek. We're, we're taking all gifts. Um, so tell us a little bit about the next piece that you're going to play for us. Okay, so the next piece I'll play is um, titled Three Pieces for Solo Flute. Um, it's by a composer with the last name of Thiru. Um, it also has three movements. Um, and to me, it's really fun to play this because each movement allows the flutist to tell a different story. And it allows the musician to really become a storyteller. And, and I love that. I love that. That's one of the my favorite things of playing music is just to be able to have my audience member be able to visualize something or to feel something. Um, so I love this. Wonderful. And, and when was it composed? Oh, if Oh, okay. So it's, it's 20th century work. It's the tail end of the Romantic period with some impressionist maybe sprinkled in. And oh, I'm so excited to hear this. I, I don't know the work at all. So, um, so it's another three movement work. Once again, thank you so much for being here today, Shantanique. We are thrilled to have you with us and can't wait to hear your last piece. Thank
Wow. Shantanique, I, folks, if, if you were here in person, I feel like I just witnessed a master class that was beautiful playing, beautiful playing, such amazing articulation, the roundness of your tone. Oh, I, it was just uplifting and amazing, and we can't wait to have you back with us. Um, folks, if, if you are tuning in late, um, you got to go back and watch this recital. It was just absolutely stunning. We are thrilled to have Shantanique with us for the, the first time in Coriopolis. Um, Shantanique is here for two years playing with the PSO, the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. Um, so we are just very blessed to have you with us. And I can't wait to make music with you sometime. Yeah, we, you have to come back and play for us a Sunday in August or maybe September if we're back to normal by then. But if not, I can use you in August for sure. My I would be thrilled. Folks at home, thank you so much for viewing. Make sure you like and share this. Um, we would love to see our viewership of this recital go through the roof. Last week's recital has been viewed over 2,000 times, wow. so that's pretty fantastic. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I'm music director Brian Sable, joined by Shantanique Moore with us today. Um, and so tune in next week. We have pianist Henry Weens. If you like what you've heard today, make sure you like and share. If you don't like what you've heard, go to a cardiologist because you don't have a heart. That's what I've got to say, because this woman just gave us an amazing recital. Beautiful Thank playing, Shantanique. Thank you, Thank you so, much. so much. Bye, folks. See you next week.